Idaho Falls Pediatrics, where you supporting kids in our community in Seven Questions with Emmy. Hey guys, welcome back to Seven Questions with Emmy. My guest today is a child prodigy scholar who started college at 12 years old and graduated with honors this month at age 14 from Arizona State University. Elena McCorder has been working on her master's at the same and made history by becoming the youngest black person in U.S. to be accepted into medical school. Elena, thanks so much for talking with me today. Thank you for inviting me. Let's get to it. Did you just get back from graduating? Yes, I <laughs> just got back from convocation, so. That's so cool. Yeah. <laughs> Question number one. There's a TV show called Doogie Hazard. Have you ever seen it, and do you see yourself as a modern-day Doogie Hazard? Yeah, um, I've heard a lot about it. haven't seen it myself, but a lot of people um, use it as a reference. <laughs> Think I'm me? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Question number two. What inspired you to want to be a doctor? Uh, well, I wanted to learn more about healthcare. I wanted to learn more about the body, diseases, and viruses that invade our bodies um, and different healthcare systems around the world. So that's what inspired me to get into it. <laughs> <laughs> Question number three. What's it like being the youngest Black girl to attend medical school? Um, I think to me, it's like really exciting because I really love learning um, and this whole journey has helped me learn a lot more about my passions um, and the things that I want to do in the future. Plus, it's also inspiring a bunch of girls out there um, to get into STEM and to do what they love. So it's all exciting for me. <laughs> yeah. Is it weird going to school with older people and what was college like for you? Mm, wasn't weird. I mean, everybody really treated me the same as any other student. As any other student. Um, so I felt kind of at peace at home <laughs> because uh, everybody really was nice and I really had no problems with anyone. So college was great. <laughs> yeah. What was, what is your ultimate goal for a career? I'm looking forward to going to graduate school or getting a PhD. Um, and viral immunology and infectious disease is a mouthful. <laughs> yeah. Um, which is pretty much just studying viruses and learning about our bodies, our immune system. Um, and then someday I'd hope to learn about learn more about vaccines and develop my own. <laughs> well, I'd be the first one to get it. I can be your guinea pig. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That'd be awesome. I need I need some lab testing. <laughs> <laughs> How do you manage all your schoolwork plus having fun? Um, I always make time to have fun because uh, fun is essential, <laughs> especially when you're in college. You always need to have fun. It keeps your mind off of different things. It keeps you grounded um, and it really helps you to move forward because I don't know. I would have gone through those nights of homework without having a little bit of fun in between. Yeah. Have you ever been to Idaho and tried our famous potatoes? And what's your favorite way to have a potato? Hmm. Let me think. My mom's special mashed potatoes. Actually, we, we joke. We have a big joke in the house. It's uh, um, Idaho potato. <laughs> yeah, but um, that's what we make our special mashed potatoes out of, so... This is big in this house. <laughs> Mashed potatoes. We uh, we'll send you. We have a little things called Spuddy Buddies. They're little like potato stuffed animals. So we'll make sure to send you one. Oh, thank you. I love stuffed animals. I actually fifteen and still have like a whole collection of them. So, <laughs> <laughs> what advice do you have for me? Um, I just say never let anyone tell you no. And to keep going because there's endless possibilities out there. Um, and whatever you want to do, I'm sure it's possible. I'm sure you can you can reach for it and achieve it. So just keep going. Thank you so much for chatting with me today. Thank you so much for inviting me. I had fun. I did too. Thanks so much for watching. Remember, new set of questions and interviews are posted every Thursday. Be sure to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Love you guys. Bye. Idaho Falls Pediatrics, where you supporting kids in our community and seven questions with Emmy.